Okay, uh, I, I do have to cover this, and I should probably have started the stream with this, but I'm actually gl glad that I waited a little, because this is something that all of you would want to hear. Um, there are currently three groups, three groups that exist within this entire debacle, excluding the victims and the perpetrators and the developers standing on the side, not really sure what the fuck's going on. Yeah, these right? are groups within public yeah. rather than within uh, the company. Yeah, I'm not talking about anyone in the company. I'm talking about us, the gamers, the public. There are currently three groups. Two of them have been there from the beginning. And then there's now a new third group that I actually view as even more dangerous than the, the at least one of the other groups. The first group... I think most of us fall into that group. Um, we are, we want justice. I don't think any one year, if these things are true, and I believe that most of them are true, uh, mainly because I've spoken to enough developers now to know that these stories are true. A lot of this shit did actually happen, right? We want justice. We want the guilty to pay for what they had done, and we want the victims to receive the justice that have been denied them from so fuck for so fucking long. An absolute it's absolutely abhorrent that they had to wait for a two-year investigation. I'm not saying the investigation should have happened sooner. Um, I'm saying the fact that they had to wait for this wait for the state to get involved to finally yeah. Get some justice is abhorrent and it should never have happened. And most of us are in that group. I do believe that. Then you have the other side of this. The group that says, I don't believe this. Um, to some degrees. You have people that say, I don't believe any of it. You have some people that say, I don't believe some of it. Like some of it could be true, but I don't think all of it is true. And that group is still okay, right? Because I can show them the evidence. Yeah. We can have a conversation. And I can sort of at least poke some holes in their belief system, right? I can at least prick a, a few holes in the dam to sort of show that, hey, things are falling apart for you, right? There is evidence here. There's enough evidence to show that this shit did happen. Um, you know, so that group. But there's now a new group that's been making the rounds. This is really for the last. Um, th this is this has really been happening for the last uh, day, like the last 24 hours. The Puritans have arrived. Now, for those of you that don't know what the Puritans are or what I'm referring to, early American settlement days, right? America is just, just starting up. Things are just starting to get off the ground. The Puritan movement starts. Uh, during the Puritan movement, people were burned at the stake, uh, basically guilty until proven innocent, right? And the only way you could be innocent is if you actually burnt, right? So they would tie you to the stake, and if you burnt, oh shit, sorry, if you didn't burn, you must be a witch. I, I wonder how many yeah. people didn't fucking burn, right? Uh, so the Puritan movement started. It got so bad that daughters and sons were actually s selling out their own parents because the way in which you become a Puritan is by being more pure than everyone else. And the way you do that yep. is by basically offering everyone else up to the pyre, right? So you have to point the finger. This group have now started. This group have now become incredible. Uh, They've definitely become very focused on this. I mean, as many people in the chat are correctly pointing out, this is kind of Twitter and social media in a nutshell, um, because there have always been this element in society. As you said, it, it, it went back even before the, the puritanical movement, the witch trials. It went back even further than that to the crusades and et cetera, et cetera. But now with the advent of social media and how connected everyone is and how loud everyone's voice is, um, it's becoming a lot easier to find your echo chamber, right? Mm. And this is the problem. And this is what we're getting right now. And it's it's not okay. They're just as bad as, as the others. Yeah, I so I've seen innocent developers, male and female, by the way, being attacked by the group f for incredible things. Uh, one of the posts that I saw... This was actually on a female developer's post, basically just saying I never knew what was going on here, but I am standing behind all of my sisters at Blizzard. I am so sorry that this happened to you. My DMs are open if you ever want to talk, right? People in their chat going, how did you not know? How the fuck did you not know? You're just as guilty. So this happened to Main. Main who just wanted to say, hey, I'm there with you. I didn't know this was going on. I'm sorry that I didn't know that this was going on. Being attacked, how dare you not know? I want to ask 
Anyone in chat that's been part of these groups, do you know that your neighbor is beating his wife? Chances is no. Do you know what your neighbors are doing every single day? No. How the fuck do you expect someone to know? It's 6,000 people. You see it every people. time. You see it every time the shit comes out. Oh, we, we should have known. It was always the quiet ones, but he seemed like such a nice guy. Yeah. I'm sure he did. So at the end of the day, these zealots are looking to burn down everything, right? These are the people that they just want to burn it all down. And it doesn't matter how many innocent people get caught in the crossfire, but I will not be with you on that. I want to make that fucking clear. Yeah. If your role, if your job, if what you want to achieve with this is a better blizzard where women can feel safe to go to work, where women can feel inspired to bring us the games that we all love and we can celebrate the fact that they feel safe at Blizzard Entertainment, I am with you. Let's go. Let's fucking make that world happen. If what you want to do is burn it all down, innocence and guilty alike, then you're on your fucking own, mate. Yeah. I, I don't want to be a part of that. that, that I, I'm, I didn't sign up for that. And if that means that you're unsubbing from the channel, if that means that fuck you, Akko, I will not support you, then peace out, peace. Again, we're, we're coming yeah. down to my principles here. I will not work with you if what you want to do is burn it all down because you're going to burn innocence. And yeah. I still call me crazy, but I still adhere to this um, draconian idea, I suppose, that says that it is better for 50 guilty people to go free than it is for one innocent person to go to jail. I believe that. I believe that fundamentally with all my heart. If one innocent person gets fucked, that is a fucking tragedy. That is a tragedy yeah. that should not happen. Ever. And it does expose the hypocritical nature of some of these people as well, is that they want to stand for... Uh, n not stand with, but stand no. for the victims. And I think that's a very key difference in wording. Um, yeah. But in doing so, they want to hurt them. That doesn't yeah. make sense. And if you're still sort of on the fence, if you still sort of think, Akko, I don't know, though, you know, there's so many guilty people. Should we not, like, we should do something. Would you, if these scenarios were reversed, would you want the fate of your entire life to hang in the balance on the say-so of the twitter mob right the uneducated right. stupid herd mentality would you like your future to be determined by those people if the answer is no then you should also not be okay with them doing it now to developers that had fuck all to do with any of this um and and that's something that to me is just absolutely disgusting now i'm gonna tell you guys a couple of things here that that's been shared with me in confidence so i will be omitting all names all departments um i'm basically going to give you guys a, an overview so first and foremost the departments that's been rotten inside blizzard entertainment are actually about three from what i understand there's about three departments that's been rotten to the fucking core one of them seems to have a little bit of a like not necessarily a, a <sighs> The one department isn't, like, uh, sexual harassment and shit, but it is sort of just a very... It's a toxic department to work in. Like, they're not nice to the people that work in that department. Two of them that I've heard people speak to me about, they're sick to the fucking core. The things that those women have been through, it, it's absolutely horrifying to believe that this shit can happen. So there's about three departments from what I can identify that's been really fucking bad at blizzard for a long time now of course there could be more there could be less i i didn't speak to every developer at blizzard not everyone want, knows me or even would like to talk to me i'm sure over the course of my many years of you, doing youtube i've pissed quite a few developers off because yes i have at times called them untalented and uh, not good enough <laughs> especially during bfa years so it's completely justified that some of them will not speak to me but a lot did reach out to me two goals uh, left the company during the era of Morheim. After months and months of dealing with HR, they had a specific problem with a very specific lead developer. Not project lead, this was just their immediate superior. They went to HR multiple times, basically just wanting to know what the fuck is going on. Why is nothing happening here? I, I, I keep... I keep it just keeps happening and every single time hr told them we'll deal with it don't worry we're dealing with it um eventually on two separate occasions they decided to email mike morheim and these girls didn't work together by the way it's not like they decided together to email him this is just the two different stories that i've gotten from two different developers they tried to email mike morheim directly to say hey 
Um, this is stuff that's happening. HR doesn't seem to do fucking anything. Can you help? Can you do something? Their emails were blocked immediately. Like their emails didn't go through to Mike Morheim. And within 10 minutes, they were called into HR and reprimanded for trying to go over HR's head. HR informed them that we will fix it. Um, yeah. And summarily, they kept basically getting into trouble because they were labeled as troublemakers within the company. I am not saying that Mike Morheim didn't know anything. I want to be clear on that because I don't think that's true. However, I've now had a couple of people reach out to me who m made it sort of, not necessarily in so many words, but definitely to some extent, made it sound like the things that did make it through to Mike Morheim and that did make it through to Jab were very diluted and watered down. Oh, heavily vetted for sure. Yeah, like like HR did not allow for the full spectrum to go through. This is a failure on the part of HR. And I've reached out to multiple developers, like personally, people that I know, I've reached out to multiple of them. And I went, listen here, can you comment on this? I wrote down the entire fucking tweet and I said, can you comment on this? And all of them wrote back litigation. Said one word, litigation. Can't speak on it. Like not a single one of them wanted to comment at all. Not even tell me, dude, don't know anything about that. They all just said, no, no, this is, there's litigation on this, can't speak. Which tells me there might be a giant problem within the HR department of Blizzard Entertainment. You see, what pisses me off about this is HR can sort of be viewed as the in-house union, right? Yeah. Their job is to be on the side of the people. The way HR protects companies is by protecting the workers. Because if the workers are happy and the workers' needs are met, then the company automatically is fine. So when a worker is upset, HR should not be on the side of the fucking company. HR should be on the side of the people. Now, it yeah. seems to me at Blizzard Entertainment, these HR employees were told, hey, got to have our backs, boys. You got to help us. You, you got to help us. If if there's sort of things that sort of, you know, is a little bit unsavory, you have to step in and fucking quiet that shit down. I also don't think that this was done maliciously. I sort of got the idea by talking to them. And this is not what they said. This is me speculating a little bit on this. Um, is everyone in chat familiar with the broken glass theory? Apocalypse, you said you are familiar with that. Yeah, broken window. The broken window theory. The broken window theory suggests that if you allow people to get away with small crimes, they'll, they'll eventually turn into big crimes, right? So the idea, uh, the the idea here is that most police officers will not prosecute people for vandalizing a building, right? Throwing out a window with rocks or you know uh, graffiti on the walls. The idea with broken window theory is that if you allow those things to get away from you, if you allow people to do those things, they'll eventually do worse and worse shit. And I can't help but think that the HR people were maybe friends with someone like Alex Afrizi And I don't think Alex started the very first bad thing he did was to grab a woman or do some sort of horrible thing to this woman. Might have started small, right? Maybe he just said, hey, nice ass. Now, I don't know how any man gets the level of, shall we call it narcissism, to walk up to a, 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 a woman he barely knows and goes, nice ass, right? Um, I, I don't have that confidence. I, I maybe... Maybe I'm, I'm, I just don't have enough belief in my own uh, in my own person or my looks, but I don't have that fucking confidence to, to walk up to a girl and say that. I will go up to a girl and say, you're very beautiful, right? Um, but nice ass uh, seems a bit on the fucking chin. So maybe he started with something small, right? Just like saying, oh my God, you look beautiful a few too many times a day. And the girl goes and she complains and she's like, uh, HR, can you guys help? This is not, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with him commenting on my looks the whole day. And HR goes, uh, no, don't worry about it. This is a small problem. It doesn't matter. What do you do to yeah. the mind of a fucking animal like Alex or any of the other people? You just enable them. You, you even encourage them to go further because, well, I got away with this. I can get away with more. Yeah, I can keep going. Nothing's going to happen to me. So I wonder how much of this is the problem of HR. Um, I know personally of a company in South Africa where HR would destroy any and all evidence of complaints before it ever even reached the CEO because the head of HR had dreams of becoming the head of a different department. And if he pissed off the CEO, those dreams would be shattered. And so he made sure that the company ran smooth, right? While he was head of, head of HR. 
Um, could this have happened? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I don't think I... Just based on what I've heard, it, it feels to me as if while Mike Morheim definitely knew more than what he pretends to know, he might not have known the details of everything. Yeah, and to put it into an example for people, because I, I know this is a concept that a lot of people don't or struggle to kind of comprehend. Yeah. Um, if you knew even just a rumor, then you knew something was going on, you should have investigated. But that's not always the case. If, for example, uh, Ferorius has an issue with Alex, and I get told Ferorius called Alex bad names, mm -hmm. okay, fine. Is it dealt with? Are they? Did they get put in timeout? Did they sort out their differences? Yeah. Okay. I knew something had gone on. Yeah. But I don't know the exact details, and that is likely what has happened here, from what we've been told. Yeah, at least from what I've heard. It seems like uh, they were sort of informed after the fact that something had happened and it's been taken care of, you know? Just sort of given a brief statement. I'm not standing up for Mike Morham. I don't know the guy from fucking Adam. I'm just saying yes. sort of what I've been, been hearing. When it comes to Chris Metzen, I actually have far more evidence that Chris genuinely didn't know. Um, he's been described to me, at least, as very um, uh, introverted, in at least at work. He, he was very friendly always, very nice with everyone, but he was sort of, um, according to what I learned at least from what people told me, the only time you would really see him in the general campus if he was on his way to some meeting. Outside of that, he went back to his back to his office and he was there, he was working, right? Um, he genuinely did not involve himself too much with general company business, uh, like, gossiping and shit like that yeah. so again it, it is sort of at this point a toss-up did they know if they knew what steps did they take if they didn't um what are we gonna do now because you know what are you gonna do right there, there's genuinely not much that you can do uh which, which is sad but at the same time i think we do have to be um, I think we do have to be careful. The point that I'm trying to make here is before we crucify someone, we may want to wait for enough evidence to know that they are worthy of crucifixion. Exactly. Before the, just jumping yeah. and going, fuck this dude. And we may end up crucifying someone that genuinely didn't deserve the crucifixion. Um, so yeah, th that sort of... Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this clip from the Sunday Night Show Show. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch it live, the link to the main channel will be in the description down below. And of course, remember to slap a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and smash that bell. It does help out. To all of the patrons, thank you so much for your monthly support. It does mean the world to me. And of course, it makes streams like this one possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. Consider becoming a patron. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.